Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick update um, <laughs> about what's been going on. I'm sorry for my appearance, but <clears throat> I went to bed with wet hair last night and I just honestly don't care about trying to get ready for a video, so <laughs> excuse my appearance, like I just said. Um, <clears throat> as of yesterday, I had my appointment for being 38 weeks pregnant and <clears throat> It was, like I said in my last video, it was possible that I could be um, induced at that appointment. But it just really depended on a few different factors. Um, at my appointment, my blood pressure was on the high side. So they wanted to send me to triage to just be monitored for a bit. And depending on the results, we would go from there. Um, my ultrasound looked really good. That was right after that appointment. So... Went to my ultrasound, everything came back that was great, and then we went up to triage, and I got there about 11, I want to say, yeah, about 11, and they drew my blood, they hooked me up, I had an IV, and we were told that it looked like I was going to be induced yesterday. Um, after watching my blood pressure, though, for pretty much all day... They weren't really concerned, and they didn't want to induce me. So, at about 4 o'clock, my midwife came in, and she said she did everything she could to try to get me to be induced today, but it just didn't look like it was going to happen because nothing had been wrong. So, she actually stripped my membranes and was telling me that that should help, speed up the process but if for some reason it didn't I set up an induction date for next Thursday at 8 o'clock at night so yeah that's really exciting um, ever since I had the stripping done and this might be TMI for any of my relatives that might be watching this video and probably don't want to know all about, about this but I'm going to tell my youtubers so I had my membrane sweep, and if you haven't ever had that, it kind of sucks. Um, I asked my midwife, I was like, so how bad is this going to suck? And she's like, well, it's going to be about as bad as any OBGYN appointment. And I was like, okay. So I was bracing myself for it to be pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so she did that, which was terrifying. That was the second time I've gotten like molested in one day because I had I was checked at my appointment at my appointment and I was about a centimeter dilated and I was still pretty high so yeah and pretty much the second it was done I started cramping up really bad and I was bleeding immediately afterwards and Jordan and I went out to eat shortly after um we figured if we were going to have a last meal, we wanted it to be good. So we went out to eat, got something really spicy. I was having really bad contractions, but they weren't regular at all. I just felt like really, really bad period cramps. They were just pretty much like consistent. They were just, like I know I just said they weren't regular, but it's because they kind of just kept going like they wouldn't really stop and then when they did they wouldn't start again for a while like it's just confusing so yeah it wasn't regular and we came home I was just in a lot of pain I was really uncomfortable um still having really bad period cramps all throughout the night um I woke up just feeling ill like I just feel sick as you could probably hear in my voice um I've been really congested all night. I woke up all night feeling like I was going to throw up. Um, I was in just a lot of uncomfortable pain, I want to say. And Jordan was ripping my back all night, like trying to get me to feel better and relax. Uh, but yeah, it just didn't help. So that's where I am right now. Um, I'm still bleeding. And... <clears throat> I'm still kind of having contractions, so I'm going to do a lot of walking today. I'm going to do some cleaning. I'm just going to make sure to keep on my feet because 
I would love to go into labor naturally and not have to be induced. So that's what we're kind of hoping for. Um, typically what they say is either the membrane sweep works within like 48 hours after it, and like you have, you give birth or sometimes it doesn't happen at all or it does, sometimes it doesn't do anything at all and sometimes it just doesn't even affect anyone. So I'm really hoping that I'm one of the people that it affects to where I have Grayson within either today or tomorrow. That'd be awesome. If not, I'm having him on Friday the 13th pretty much because my appointment's at 8 p.m. And unless he just pops right out, I don't see that happening. So he would be born on Friday the 13th, which is kind of cool, I guess. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. Jordan thinks it's creepy and he doesn't want it. But yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm at right now. I will update you guys as soon as anything happens. I've already made plans for if I do go into labor today. I did tell Jordan to go ahead and go to work just because nothing really happened all night tonight. So we'd set it up to what would happen if I did go into labor because he works 30 minutes away. And I have a backup ride um, for if things go really fast or if my water breaks because if my water breaks then I need to go to the hospital pretty much immediately that way they can administer me antibiotics for my strep B e. um, but if he is born before I'm given antibiotics they told me and reassured me that it would be fine and they would just give them to him after he's born and me of course but it's not that big of a deal so yeah I'm not really too worried I'm really hoping, as crazy as this might sound, that I get really intense contractions that are really frequent here soon, just so that I can get this ball rolling. I am ready. I am excited. I was really hoping it would be yesterday or last night. So yeah, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.